print out for you. This is uh, information in the city's master plan. And since our master plan is kind of broken down in different areas than this is, it was, I had to kind of piece sections together. Yes. Yeah, we broke our, uh, the city into uh, 10 uh, clusters. I know you, I'm sure you've heard of the cluster uh, breakdowns. You know, there's 10 clusters spread around the city. Mm -hmm. And most of what you wanted was split between clusters 4 and 6. And then within each of the clusters, there are neighborhood areas. So what I printed you from the master plan are, are um, you know, kind of uh, blurbs about each neighborhood area, which is uh, the portions I'm trying to uh, give you from this area here. I see. Mm -hmm. So it can give you a breakdown of smaller geographical areas of the city and let you know what's going on there and what we would like to see happen in the future. Okay. So this isn't going to tell you what actually is going to be developed on the ground. And I know a lot of uh, citizens want to know that. But this, the master plan isn't about that. It's just basically general policy. What we, you know, what the city, what general Ge direction. General policy, whose general policy? Uh, this is the city's general policy. I see. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we've sat down with citizens across the city in, uh, in meetings, most of which we did back in 2003. And we got their input. And of course, we, uh, we, we took input that we, uh, we got from going out there and seeing stuff on the ground ourselves. And then, you know, uh, we had public hearings at city council. And it was finally approved last year. So, How yeah. old is this? Uh, actually, it was just approved last year. Okay. Most okay. of the work that was done was, uh, was done earlier during the, uh, uh, the, uh, the past decade. Like 2002? 2000, 2002, 2003. Like I said, we went out to the community back in 2003. Okay, so when is the, when, when is, okay, it was approved just last year? Yes. Okay, so... When is the oldest bit of like when you went out there into the community and, and was it 2004, 2005? Uh, well, like I said, we, we uh, went out into the community uh, to discuss this back in 2003. So most of the work that we did was back then. 2003, 2004. Yeah, talking and it community. just got approved. Yes. Well, How, why is that? Well, there's been, been the delays mostly on the other side with council because the planning commission because we sent it to them, you know, they have to uh, look at their, they're going to do their reviews, send it back to us, then we, uh, we look at it too. So it was a lot of give and take because they have to put their input into the uh, master plan. So you mean to tell me we wait for years? Well, that's I mean, how long it took. You know, really? So, uh, you know, that's all I can tell you. Okay. That's how long it took. Okay, so, like, for instance, between 2000, as an example, between 2000 and 2005, and, and, and obviously the city has changed so drastically, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, hell, you might as well just scrap all that, especially if you're looking at this particular district. Because I moved in my house in 2001, mm -hmm. and it was decent. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now it's 2010. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Yeah, well, the master plan is most more like a 15-year document. There's nothing that you can do that's ever going to, uh, with a city that's as fluid as the city of Detroit. You said fluid, what do you mean? Uh, things are happening all the time. Mm -hmm. When you do, a yeah, when you're, you're dealing with this, you're never going to have a document that's going to be static and going to be... What's uh, static? Well, the let, same. Let, me, let me explain, okay? okay. Uh, yeah, let me get through it before you, you ask okay. any questions. Uh, with the city, you're never going to have... Uh, you're never going to have a, a master plan that's going to tell you exactly what's happening at each 
specific time, especially as, the, uh, as long as the document lives, because we do it for 15 year, 20 year intervals. So there's going to be change. So you have to know that you know, going in. You're, ne you, you're never going to say, well, this spot will stay the same until we get a new master plan. There's always going to be change. We try to do the best that we can before we get it approved, and then we know it's going to be out of date pretty soon after we do that. But we try to do the best that we can, a document that's pretty close to what's going on on the ground until we, you know, gear up to do another master plan. So, you know, it's always going to be, uh, you know, uh, out of date as soon as we put it in, no matter what we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's always the case. So, what's the plan? What was the plan five years ago that was just approved? Okay, well, let me explain to you. It's not a plan where you say, this, this, and this is going to happen. Let me let you uh, under see what the master plan is about, okay. so you can understand for yourself. Okay. A lot of citizens think that you that that, that, that that's what this is about too. It's not a a, a plan where you're going to say, well, we're going to do this, and then we're going to move into the neighborhoods and and, and 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 actually do it. It's just a general guideline, a document that tells you about what the city is like what we would like to see happen, and if anybody does something, you know, as far as the, you know, the administration or the mayor's office, it's up to them completely. It is not telling you that this is what's going to happen. That is not what a master plan is about. You have to have a framework or a guideline for how you want your city to look. Any city has to have that. That's what a master plan is. It does not tell you that this, this, and this is going to happen. That's not what a master plan is, is supposed to be about. Okay. Okay, let me uh, kind of put this together to you, for you, because it's kind of in pieces. Okay. And let me let you... Okay, well this is the central business district portion of what the master plan has. Here's a map. This is a land use map, and these are land use uh, designations. Each of these designations tells you uh, about what we would like to see the land use for that certain portion of the city. Most of it, this, these land use uh, designations are what's already on the ground now. So, you know, that's basically what we try to start with. And if we feel that there should be some little changes or tweaks or something like that, then uh, that we go into a different direction, the master plan kind of guides you in that direction. The L, okay, the RL here, we don't have this in the central business district. That's a low density residential, like single family homes. Mm -hmm. We don't have any land uses like that in the central business district, you know, because it's basically uh, about commercial activity, high density residential, things like that. This MRC here, Okay, where is that? That stands for Mixed Residential Commercial. That's a land use that um, is basically high density housing like uh, apartment buildings, maybe big apartment buildings and things like that. And then maybe commercial that, um, that um, kind of goes with it, that's complementary to it. So that's what this land use is. And then let's see what else we have. Okay. The CM right here. Okay, that's major commercial. The, these land uses are for the, uh, the big concentrations of businesses, like copywares in this area right here. That would be the CM. Then it goes towards the riverfront uh, near where GM is. So those are the types of land uses that you have with CM. So that's major commercial. And these are, this is basically what the master plan is about. Uh, land use, and we also have text that uh, supports it too. So here in the Central Business District, we talk about what's going on in the uh, in that area. We break it down into different uh, types of um, elements. We call neighborhoods and housing. Then we have retail. Then we go on to industrial and anything. Uh, that might be going on in the area, different types of land uses or policies we would talk about 
for the Central Business District. So here we talk about in the neighborhoods and housing section. There's a, the issue as most residential areas in the Central Business District are in high density apartment buildings. Upper floors may contain uh, commercial buildings that have been converted into residential lots. Now, here are goals that we'll have for it. Now, one of the goals is to increase residential density because we like our downtown to kind of have more okay. density than what I understand has. that, and it's real clear that mm -hmm. that downtown is is a focal point because mm -hmm. it's highlighted and you can see it, and it's not great. Yet. Okay, I understand mm -hmm. that. What about the district that I live in? What do you, any, can you give me the same thing? Can you show okay, me well the same thing? Okay, well, like I said, that this is just one piece of uh, uh, the, the, the neighborhood areas that we have in the city. We have many of them. And this is another one. This is Corktown, a piece of Okay, that. but that's not my district. Okay, well, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get this because we don't have the master plan broken out like this. Okay. So I had to get into pieces of oh, gotcha. different areas okay. that might fit what you have. Okay, here. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want, if we can if we can get more in the neighborhood, if you can show me more in the neighborhood. Okay, I may have to uh, take this, this with me. me I think this. there might be a piece of Corktown in there. I believe it is. Okay, now let's see what the boundary is here. You have the lodge here. And what is this? Is, is this Michigan here? Yeah, I think a part of Court Town is in your, your district. Uh, this northern portion right here above Michigan is in your district. Yeah. None of this. But this is. Yeah, and I added the CBD because you have this portion right here. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of downtown. Yeah, so right I have here. that too. Yeah. And then above that, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, north of downtown, this is a section called Lower Woodward, and I did print something from that too. Here's the text. And then I also have a map for that. That's the area that's north of the Fisher Freeway, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? And can I have that? It, this is Lower Woodward right here? Yeah. Okay. Yes, now let's, let's go up now. Okay, yes, so that would Lower Wood would be from, from here up to wherever, uh, you know. Right about Ford Freeway, Ford Ford Freeway. Freeway. between Ford. Ford and Fisher. So that is here's Ford, mm -hmm. and here is it's Fisher, it's right, Fisher here. right here. Okay, so, so it's still right. between here. Okay. Okay, and then the Lodge and Chrysler. Here's the Lodge and Chrysler somewhere over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's okay. Okay. so that's east and out of your area. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's just still uh, that's the lodge in Chrysler somewhere over here. That's still a little bit. That's still okay. Okay, okay. and then you got Jeffries here, which uh, is the northern boundary is the Fort Freeway. The southern is Fisher. So we'll be in this area here. This is Jeffries here. So mm -hmm. it's basically in here. And then I got the text for that too, which is right here. And I got I got to get you some more because this area here is the part that I don't have for you. Okay. Okay. And then you need that too, the Central Business District. And then this is the text for Cork Town, which is the map that you have in your hand. Could uh, use your map and sure. get the rest of this area here because there's a few other neighborhood areas that I didn't print for you. Here. Okay. 
Freeway West and then North. So I'll get that for you. So Thank you. Yeah, we'll go ahead. what I need to find out. What is planning and development's purpose? <coughs> so far I don't find it purpose at all. That as soon as they put it on paper, it's obsolete. So what's the purpose?
Retail and local services. What does reinforce sound neighborhoods mean? Maintain the stability of the wood bridge and the wood to the home of the wood for the historic site. here all this time for nothing. Mm. Yeah, I did it all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can understand. It, it just repeated. Things. It repeated itself. I, I read the goals, and it just repeated the same thing. And okay. Yeah. So what I'm trying to tell you is that it's not going to tell you what's going to get built. Now, that's mm -hmm. what a lot of residents want. We don't have anything that's going to tell them what's going to get built. 
we don't know what's going to get built. And that's, that's, that's the thing. It's up to the private sector to determine that. It may frustrate citizens to tell them that that's what it is. But do you have anything that shows what has been built? Uh, we used to do uh, brochures that, uh, that show development projects uh, that have occurred in the city in recent years, but uh, we stopped doing that because I think it's because it ran out of money. Uh, they used to have, uh, Comerica used to help the city do that, and then there were other sponsors, and I, I don't know if they have, they've been able to... Uh, what's the purpose of planning and development? What's, what's the purpose? The purpose of it is to, first of all, we do the city's master plan, which uh, provides a framework for redevelopment, and then we also have a development division that works with uh, developers out here who we want to get through the city processes. So we have a, sec a section on our 20th floor that has project managers that work in our development division. And they work with private developers who either need some uh, aspect of help getting through the city processes or want to purchase city land or do something uh, to uh, start a development w w in which they need the city to help them. So that's uh, not what our development division does. And we also have a neighbor neighborhood services division that works with, uh, I believe, their uh, community development corporations and neighborhood organizations that do certain services for, uh, for the public. And then we also have a housing services section that provides grants for senior citizens and uh, low-income people uh, you know, to do maintenance on their own homes. Now, they don't help them buy homes or do anything like that it's because they only have limited grants from the federal government. But they do help people uh, who meet certain income guidelines or seniors or something like that uh, to, you know, they give them small grants to, uh, to you know, to help them, uh, you know, uh, rehabilitate their own home. So mm -hmm. those are the basic uh, types of services that our department does. Okay. And so going back to the district that I, mm -hmm. I'm running in. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a number of, of, do you have any statistics on how many people have received grants and, and... I don't know that. You have to talk to people in our neighborhood, between our uh, housing services division, and they're uh, headquartered on the 19th floor. I don't know if they have uh, actual statistics, so you have to ask them. Okay. Yeah, because they work with the, uh, you know, the housing grants. Uh -huh. Yeah, our division is just planning, so, you know, we do the city's master plan and uh, planning that's related to it, so that's what we do here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, is there anything else you can tell me? Well, that's, that's basically it, but like I said, some of the things that you might tell uh, citizens will, will be frustrating, especially if you, you want to tell them what's going to happen in my neighborhood, because that's what a lot of people yeah. ask. And we're not going to be able to tell them because we don't know. That's basically it. We don't know whether a private developer is going to decide to come into your neighborhood or not. And that's basically what development is driven by, private decisions by private developers. They make decisions as to whether they're going to come into a neighborhood or not and develop. We try to attract them the best we can, but we can't, we can't make somebody come into the neighborhood and, and, and invest in it. So that you know, that's that's basically it. So we try to. What areas do you concentrate on? I mean, what 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 makes you what what areas do you look at and say, well, this is the one that we're going to put money into, and we're going to we're going to develop this one. We're going to do some advertising in it. When was the last time advertising was done in our area? Well, we don't do that. At all. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's basically I you know planning uh, the planning and development department doesn't advertise. It. I see. Now we did uh, at one point years ago uh, put out a, a brochure that they uh, took to the uh, they, they were doing in Las Vegas. I think that was maybe about nine or ten years ago that uh, we had a brochure or something like that. But we haven't done stuff like that in years, so. You know, you know, right at, right at this point, we don't have anything like that. Mm -hmm. The basic uh, organization that does try to uh, go out and promote the city would be the Economic Growth Corporation. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, they're 
kind of like quasi public and private. And so you re you guys really work with corporations? No, we don't. The the well, what I'm saying is uh, we don't. Do, we're not in, involved in attraction and things like that. That's the growth corporation. They do that. So uh, we work with people who come to us. That's basically what we do. So uh, you know, if a developer comes to us and wants uh, the city's help and helping him get a uh, business started because he needs uh, maybe a rezoning or he needs to buy city land or something like that in which, uh, you know, he needs the help, with the help of the city. He'll come to us to ask for it. Like for instance, the, the strip clubs, did they come to you? No, uh, we don't, we're, we're not even involved in anything like that. So. But that's a corporation. Yeah, I'm, but I'm they don't come to the city to do stuff like that. They either buy property by themselves as a as private, you know, person out there purchasing private property. I don't I don't ever remember a strip club ever coming to the city or something like that. But not us, never. never. Not to planning and development. Never. never. I've, uh, I've been here we see since nineteen ninety six. I've never been to Burger King. I see. So, you know, it's basically, like I said, if a developer wants to, to do something that requires city help or whether purchasing land or something like that, they'll come here. So yeah. most of the development is happening in downtown Detroit? Well, I don't know if I'd say that because it's slowed down in downtown too. This, but I would say probably uh, as a whole, I, there are probably more things happening downtown than in other parts of the city. Has any development been going on in this district? Uh, other than downtown? That's hard to say. Now, you know, the only way I would know if there's actually any development projects that, uh, um, that uh, the city has some involvement with would be to check where our development division is usually time consuming because each project manager is working on a certain project of, the, of his or her own. So, you know, we don't have any kind of big uh, totals or something like that that shows what, what's happening all over the city. We probably should have that. I was about to say, you know, that would be that. a real, I mean, yeah. that would, I mean, I don't understand no, why no. you guys don't have that. I mean, here's planning and development. Well, one of the we reasons is we don't have enough people here. We won't have enough people to do stuff like that. We used to, uh, you know, kind of try to keep track of what was going on uh, in all parts of the city. You know, we, we, we would have people. We don't have that kind of staff to do that anymore. Because you can see most pe most uh, departments in the city have laid off people. And, you know, we don't have that anymore. So we do that. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. So let me give you the rest of the stuff that we have here. Um, okay, I'm going to give it to you by the, the neighborhood areas. This is the Dothy area, which is kind of in this area here. Okay. Okay, let me see. Those are parks. Welcome to check upstairs the development division. On the 19th floor? Uh, that's housing services, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Housing services may be able to tell you something more about how they uh, they run their program for seniors and uh, low-income people. 
and if they have any statistics. And then I don't know if you'll be able to get anything from our development division, but, but they are the ones who have information on uh, what development projects are currently going on in the city that the city's involved with. Yeah. And that's on the what floor? That's on the 20th floor. 20th floor. Yeah, I don't know if they have anything combined. They may not have that. Mm -hmm. You can ask. That's all. I can okay. Pretty much tell you. All right. Well, listen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have an omelet if you want to keep it in there. I too. appreciate that. Thank you. Well, I think you answered as many questions as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. You know, the citizens are not happy. Well, yeah. I'm a citizen, and I include myself in that. Yeah, I know.